Welcome aboard, everybody. We are here with mission number two from Dying Light The Following. Uh, this is the second story mission. Um, if you haven't seen the first one, you can go back and check out our gameplay walkthrough of the first mission. Um, now, this mission is pretty quick. It's only a few minutes long, depending on um, what kind of weapons and that kind of stuff you have. Essentially, you're just going to run over here. And there's a little farm here, and it's filled with a bunch of rebels, and you essentially just need to clear the area. Now, a few of them have melee weapons, but the majority of them do have guns and that kind of thing, so you're gonna want to probably take a gun with you if you have one available. Um, if not, then you're gonna want to just try and use the cover as best as you can. They did put explosive barrels around the map everywhere, so you can use those to your advantage. Uh, just be careful that if you shoot them, you aren't standing too close to them. These do seem to have a pretty large blast radius, as you'll see here. Uh, you're standing right behind that trailer, we thought, but it still was able to hit us, so... <clears throat> definitely make sure you have enough room between you and them before you shoot them. Um, this guy looked like he was giving up and then just started attacking us so he's gonna get it now there's a few more guys left here um, they kind of come out of these buildings here and there's a guy on the water tower straight in front of us here now outside of that building uh, you're gonna want to be careful of him he can pick you off if you kind of stand out in the open uh, so you're gonna want to watch out for that He's on top of this tower here. So once he's down, um, make sure everybody else is dead. And you can go through the buildings, and there's lots of loot inside here as well. Uh, so there's tons of stuff to be found here. But the main thing you're looking for are these buggies right here. Um, if there's only one of you, there's only going to be one. There's two of us in this game, so each of our buggies are here. And we also have them upgraded from playing the game previously. Your buggy, if you're just starting, won't look quite like this. But this is essentially what you have to look forward to. So that's it for this mission. Um, after this, you just cut your buggy and you go turn it in. You can check that out in the next video. You can find a link to the third quest in the bottom right. And if you want to see the first quest in the game, you can check out the video link in the top left. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to get all of our new videos. Have a good one.